Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you guys are doing really well. So welcome to another Sims 4 speed build and there was this challenge going around for like the tiny house stuff um, as the tiny house like pack is coming out. By the time you're probably seeing this video it's probably already been out and I recorded this video about two weeks ago. Um, so the challenge is to make a tiny house that is under 12k simoleons. It's got to fit three sims, two adults and one child. You're not allowed any cheats and you have to have a maximum or yeah sorry you have to have a maximum of 32 tiles. So you can only use 32 tiles which honestly I think I pretty much kind of nailed this. I think the only thing that I was missing inside the house was like a place for them all to sit down and eat like a table or something like that um, and I'd done it underneath the 12k budget which was awesome <laughs> I absolutely loved that so the tiles that I do end up in the house I use all 32 of them I'm actually really happy with how the house uh, turned out to begin with I think I spent like too much money and stuff on other things for the house and I kind of neglected the whole decoration aspect but I soon sorted that out as well as I did hear some people say that like deck space doesn't count or something so I did start to do a deck but you guys will see in the screenshots I soon decide to completely get rid of the deck as a whole um, but I still have a sort of outdoor uh, seating area place for them to hang out and kind of like eat their food as a family and whatnot. Um, I was going to keep the deck in because I ended up only making the deck like really really small but because I was unsure as to whether it would count towards the whole tile space um, because I didn't know if it was just indoor tile space that had to be 32 tiles or whether it was just like the whole tile space um, altogether like including outdoor stuff that doesn't have a roof for this that and the other so I do end up actually getting rid of it and I do end up moving the house around quite a lot um, at first I I didn't want it to be just like a bog standard sort of like square um but it kind of does keep the whole kind of like bog standard <laughs> square rectangle shape to it um just pretty straight I tried so hard to mess about with some of the walls and make them diagonal walls but it's just impossible to get doors to fit uh with the furniture and stuff they had in the walls and I really thought I was solid on this whole idea that I was going for because you come through the kitchen no sorry yeah you come through like the front door and you enter like this little galley kitchen just like a little kind of a kitchen corridor type thing which I thought was really really cool and then there was a sofa and stuff down that end but it was soon soon after I had put in the sofa I started to do whole decorating things I put down a rug um for you know a bit of decoration all this kind of stuff and I completely forgot about a bathroom I don't know I had the two bedrooms and I was just like right two bedrooms now all I gotta do is a kitchen and a bathroom I completely completely forgot about the whole bathroom situation because while I was putting in the tv and the sofa I was just like there's plenty of room here for like sims to chill out and watch tv together there's so much room why is this such a challenge blah 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 and it was because I completely forgot the bathroom so I do end up putting in a bathroom and honestly the um oh what do you call it the kind of like open shower that comes with the university pack has like kind of saved this uh build for me so for me it's kind of a wet room shower if you will because obviously the shower is just like open it's not enclosed this that, and the other I think I could have had a closed in shower um but having the kind of like university one definitely does open it up a little bit as well I'm not sure if it counts obviously you're not allowed to have any cheats or move objects on or this that, and the other um and I did use things from like all of the different packs that I do have. I don't have every single pack, but I did use some stuff from like loads of different packs, this, that and the other. Um, 
so as well i don't know if it counts towards a cheat if like you move the beds or items kind of like as far over as they will go before they turn red i don't think that it does count um because i done that with the bed and i actually do it with the toilet i move the toilet as far over as i can um so that the shower is usable so i move the toilet over as far as i can before it hits the whole red and it's like i, w I won't place it so i done that um so that you could use the shower because you couldn't actually use the shower that i put in with the toilet kind of like where ea standards puts it so i just moved it over no move objects on was on because it still like went red i don't know if that was allowed but i done it and it's all usable and yeah so i didn't cheat or anything doing that as well as i don't know if you are allowed to size up and down objects i think i saw one person size up and down objects um so i thought that it doesn't really count because it's something that you can do without um move objects on so i thought that that was like fair enough so i decided to do that just to create some more decoration because i didn't have a lot of money left at the end for decoration um i wanted some things but <laughs> the things that i wanted just like some pictures and stuff to make a little bit of clutter um, I had to size them up. So it was at this point where I'm moving out the sofa and stuff that I completely forgot about bathroom and my whole design of the house completely changes. So um, I do put in like a normal toilet to begin with and I was thinking about um, a sink and stuff like that but a uh, six square six tile like bathroom was just way too large i thought there's no reason to have a six um six tile bathroom in a 32 tile house so um i did i do count all the tiles like multiple times through this because i was concerned that i was going over the 32 tiles but there is just 32 um so yeah i really wanted a slanted wall like a diagonal wall on the bathroom but the door just would not fit in um and so i decided to take four tiles from like one side of the house and put them onto like the other side of the house so the house does actually end up being a pretty much a kind of like a square <laughs> house with a little bit of a wall poking out so i was concerned about the money because my money seemed to like disappear without me even like placing stuff but then i realized some of the things that i had placed had gone into like the household inventory um, which i didn't find out until like really later on down the line when uh i was only at like eleven thousand, and i had like eight simoleons left and i was just like oh, why isn't this working but i ended up figuring it out and the house is just under 12k simoleons which i think is absolutely great another thing that i sized up or down i sized down is the bookshelf now it's still like usable and stuff like that but i don't know if that counts uh towards the whole it being a cheat i can't imagine it does because you don't have to have move objects on anyway so i was doing a little bit of a living room i really wanted to use a slanted wall to create some more space and like living kitchen area but it just wasn't having any of it so i decided it wasn't going to happen so i just dealt with what i've got so the whole a balcony area is where i started to mess about with it now and like i said in the finished product screenshots everything like that the balcony um or deck sorry the deck is no longer there um i decided to get rid of it because just in case it does count uh, towards the tile space i didn't want it to be like cheating so yeah i did get rid of the deck the kitchen i actually decide to uh, um get rid of the sink in the kitchen so the only place that there is a sink is in the bathroom which is fine because sims seem to wash up their plates in the bathroom anyway i do put in some landscaping stuff the landscaping was like the last thing that i was 
doing um just like with whatever simoleons i had left i was going to use them all up on landscaping but honestly i think this house is like so super freaking cute so yeah i just end up putting in some little plants i have put in some decorative little bits inside the house that you guys will see in the screenshots that are coming up pretty soon so honestly i'm really happy with how this kind of like build turned out i honestly think that i nailed it and i'm so so happy with it i hope you guys like it it is 32 tiles inside the house like i said the screenshots coming up the decking is no longer there um everything like that and it is under 12k simoleons and the sims are able to use all items inside the house so thank you all so so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed this video it was super fun to actually do this so i definitely might try and do some more like a build challenges or whatnot in the future with the tiny stuff pack that comes out this that and the other so thank you all so so much for watching hit the like button leave comments down below do not forget to subscribe if you are new and i will see you all in the next video take care bye